you guys. Here we go again. Jan from Jackson Kayak here and uh, another lure review video for pike fishing lures, my favorite ones. And what we got here is a Monarch Dog Pikey. Again, Monarch Dog made in Europe, in Croatia, handmade. There's no, it's no big machines. It's made by actual people. Hand painted by Nenad Barinic, a great Croatian comic book artist. Really, really good company, really good friends, and they make some awesome baits. So what we got here is the Monarch Dog Pikey. It's an imitation of a pike, and it's a big jerk bait. So I'm going to show you a few ways how to retrieve it, and I'm going to show you my setup that I use for this big jerk bait and for any other big heavier jerk bait that I got. So let's uh, first of all in the Hechtkiller video, which you can check out, it's about a smaller pike fishing lure. Show you again some, some ways to retrieve the Hechtkiller. And now I'm going to show you some ways to retrieve the pikey. The pikey has been a really successful lure for me this year. It's a new lure and I always liked imitations of pike because basically yeah, big pike eats small pike. It's a competition thing. So now first way how to retrieve the the pikey is I got my rod. Normally while jerk baiting you'd have you do like this, but what I want is a subsurface presentation so you can actually see how the pikey swims through the water. It's a big lure, man. It makes a big wave. And very important thing, a big pause. Right next to the kayak. And see whether we got a follower. We don't. Do another cast. So this was the first kind of presentation. You simply with the rod up jerk, jerk, jerk and pause and lay your line on the water and slow reel to keep in touch with the bait because the bite will be like pump in your rod. The slow reeling and rod tip up and trying to do that subsurface presentation because like when you got a dying pike what it does is that it doesn't go to the bottom it goes up near the surface of the water and so that's what I'm trying to imitate with this so this is the first kind of retrieve I'll just bring it back in well if it's closer to your kayak or boat or whatever you usually have to put the rod tip down to maintain the same subsurface presentation now I'm going to show you the second type of presentation I got my friends over there joining me so second type of presentation this is a weird presentation but it sometimes works again rod tip up and very strong jerks and again pause and slow reeling in pikey I got some really good fish yesterday on the pikey and they seem not to be biting the pikey too much now but it's a big lure it's for a bigger pike and in the Hectula video which was shot the same place like 10 minutes ago you can see that they were biting the heck killer so it's always good to have multiple colors and the pikey what i got it's this is the natural color pikey floating and a sinking uh and a sinking fire tiger pikey they also make the black mamba color which is actually one I got here on my other rod with a heck killer by Samba is my favorite color for sunny days. And now let's talk a bit about the setup that I use for big jerk baits and pikey in particular. A stiffer rod for jerk baiting. And now this is a bit of a hardcore setup. There's, there's, there's no leader uh, 50 or 60 pound test braid, it's 0 20 directly to a big swivel so nothing breaks now this is a very important thing yeah it 
it's a strong wire again because the jerk base they like the side to side motion they tend to get tangled up if it's not a very stiff material that like when the when the move when the jerk bait moves to the water it pushes it forward I think you can should be able to see that right there you see that the wire the strong wire is always pushed forward so it doesn't get tangled up when the jerk bait does the side to side motion and a very important thing I got the knots here I got them covered with a rubber rubber tube that you heat up with a lighter and it shrinks all over the knot. What this does is it holds the knot together. It's a tip by Anton Svetkov, our team member, Jackson Kayak team member from Sweden. And another very important thing is that you can actually, while landing the pike, you can safely hold the leader. There's nothing that will cut your fingers. If you left the, the, the other end loose, it would cut through your hand. Like so this has been the pikey. We've got some really, you see it's a bit bitten. This is the pikey and now one last tip for all you aficionados of big jerk baits and pike fishing. When you land a pike it will trash. If you land it by hand, which I do because it's part of the it's part of the deal, part of the sport, and I don't like lip grips anymore because they do hurt the fish. I land all fish by hand. Remove the barbs from your from your jerk baits. See, I, I got all the barbs removed. It's safer for the fish, and it's much safer for you in case the fish trashes badly and you you get a hit in your hand. Uh, you can actually remove it quickly with a with the barb. You'd you'd have to go to hospital or something. So remove your barbs. It's it's a good thing. More security for you. You maybe you will have less fish, but it'll be a bit safer. So this has been a video about the, mon about the Monarch Dog Pikey, a lure that I really like. It's a new one for this year and I, I'm sure this one will get a lot of hits this year. Cheerio and check out our, my other videos about Monarch Dog lures, lures made in Europe. That's why I like them. Really good people, really good lures.